I'm always happy when platforms, subscriptions or services are more and more um, upgrading their platforms. Here was the good thing about this. I have been talking for quite some time on the importance of adding personalization and enhancing the customer experiences while you are leveraging technology. And this is very important. More and more companies are realizing that we are existing and we are not going anywhere anytime soon. We will be fully operational in a digital economy, especially with the emergence of Web 3.0. Now, more and more platforms have to now ensure that their users can adapt to this new um new version or new edition of the internet but in that how can we personalize the experience of customers and this is a very good feature that calendly has given to us in that we as service providers especially those who have to book calls and so forth this is a great way for you to really understand the needs of persons who are visiting your booking pages and so personalization is very very important and it is very key with regards to um how persons every day are going to be feeding into those different forms so i'm going to give a live demonstration of what is new inside of calendly and how you can actually personalize the booking experience of your prospective leads and clients now here what's the good thing about this you can automate and this is personalization at the automation level and this is why i'm so excited about it this is personalization at the automation level all right this is personalization at an automation level more and and you will find that more and more of this is coming forth because i went live on instagram um i think it was on monday and i did speak to um personalization personalization is going to be a very big thing in what you know as the metaverse all right personalize what is the experience how can we personalize the experience of our customers businesses will need to answer that question and also embedding personalization at the core of their products and their services and by extension adding personalization to technology and automation and your systems so this is a very good step in the right direction with regards to um calendly and so i'm going to switch my screen for those on instagram i hope you can see and you i am also live on i'm also live on inside of my facebook group so now when you get into calendly you're going to see by default you will have your um event type schedule events workflows and routing forms this is new all right so how do you actually do this so you're going to click on a uh, new routing form and then we're going to give it a name so in this case i'm going to put services I'm going to click on create. So here is where now I'm actually creating an intake form. Now, the good thing about this, this is where I'm actually personalizing. I want to understand which particular service people are interested in. And I want to direct them to or give them the option to go directly to the service that they are interested in. OK, and so I'm going to click on add question. Let me see if I can set this up here so I can type properly. <laughs> right. So I'm doing this as well on um things. So I'm going to include the option. Able to turn. I'm going to include include heading and description. All right. So the heading I'm going to put um just for 
purposes of this exercise. Contact us. And the description I'm going to put in. Um, what am I going to put in? Okay, and solve the type of premise, good, save. So what is it that I want to capture from them? What are some of the things that I need to capture from them in order for them to be routed to or be directed to a specific area that I want them to go? So this is what we are going to do, all right? So we're going to click on add question. going to click on add question I want to get their name I'm going to make it a required field and I want to collect their phone number it's a little technique <laughs> um, if I say I want to get their email address we can do so as well and I can move this up here so by extension so they may have a tech problem and I have services that can, two, three services that can speak to their needs, all right? I have three services that can speak to their needs. And so uh, we have the submit button. Of course, you can change the button so you can say um, next or set of submit. And then we're going to click on save, all right? And then we're going to click next here. And this is where the interesting part actually comes in. So what you want to do now is to set up your routing logic. You want to set up your, your routing logic. So based on their response in that first form, uh, let me go back. Ooh, intake form. All right. So I made a mistake. So I want to ask them a question. So it's going to be from a drop down. So, um, Which are this? All right, something to this effect. And then I can say it could be a tech strategy session. It can be um, VIP service. All right, so these are the services that I offer if they have a tech problem, because I'm asking them what the tech problem is. And so, Okay, so which service are you interested in? So we have tech strategy session. We have VIP service, which is a tech in a week. Or the third option is manage IT services. Okay, so those are the three options and this is required. This is very much required. All right, so... In this way now, we're going to click on next. And the next thing we're going to do now, this is automation at its best. <laughs> All right. Very simple. And I like how they did it because, again, if you're not so technically savvy, you're able to um, do this right from your account. All right. So here is where, based on their response from that intake form, I want to direct them to where they need to go. So I need to move them from point A to point B very quickly with them without them having to search for um, information. So I'm going to click on add a route. And then I'm going to choose a route type. So it could be a custom message. It can be an event type or it can be an external URL. And I'm so happy that Calendly has given these options to um to their users because these are the three main things all right based on the questions that you're asking in that intake form you can direct them where you want them to go so in this case um i'm going to choose event type for the first one and i'm going to choose tech strategy session i'm going to choose the question now 
is so the question name is the condition is is and text strategy session which is one of the options right oops text strategy session which is one of the options then i'm gonna go to save route now here what is the beautiful thing with calendly and this is that you can if you have three different options you can send them three different places based on their responses so again i'm going to add another route i'm going to choose external url i'm going to put in this because the next question the next answer is the vip service and so So for the VIP service, if they choose the VIP service, then I'm going to choose the question is, and if they select VIP service, then they will go to the website, the VIP service page on my website, and they can get more information on the VIP service. Okay. I'm going to add another one for the third, the third answer, and I'm going to choose um custom message just to show you the different types the service is and manage it service maybe you need somebody to manage your it services for you all right you're you're unable with that <laughs> so um i'm gonna edit the okay so it's going to be a custom message. So at this point here, this is where I'm going to actually edit that message. So the headline is, um, all right. So I'm going to put something like that. Oops. All right. Let me go back to edit. Alrighty. And for interest and then i'm going to put in um and again you have to, you can personalize this email um so thank you for your Okay, so I'm gonna put in our. So you guys are seeing the actual behind the scenes of some of the things that we do for our clients in terms of automation and um, setting up systems, All right? So there it is. And then we're gonna click on save route. All right, so based on those three conditions, if they're interested in a tech strategy session, then they will be sent to the event type. If they're interested in the VIP service, then they're gonna to go to the VIP page. If they are interested in manage IT services, they're gonna get a custom message or a custom email. And this is where we, uh, one of our team members will reach out to them to get more information in this regard, all right? Now, in all other route, in all other cases, sorry, is root two. So you can create a custom message. Um, let's say, for example, they did not or none of the answers those persons would have given to you or they didn't complete the form, then you can um, customize a message or you can direct them to the services of your um, for your company, right? And you click on publish form. And right off the bat, Calendly is going to ask you, um, give you the option to share the link, or you can add it or embed it into your website. So it could be a pop-up, it can be a text pop-up, it can be embedded into your um, contact page or so forth. So if I go to share link, I'm going to copy the link. And then I'm going to go, oh, I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to paste, paste and go. And this is the route in form, the intake form that I've actually created. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a um, tutorial of, of how it's actually going to play out. So I'm going to just fill in my information here. 
then I'm going to choose, let's say, for example, the tech strategy session. Once I click on the tech strategy session and I click on next, it automatically takes me to the um, booking page for a tech strategy session. All right. Now, here, what is the good thing? Let's say, for example, if I go back and I say, OK, let me go to the VIP service. It's going to take me to the VIP page of my website. So this is a very great tool or I would say a feature that Calendly added today. I believe they added today um, in regards to um, really personalizing the experience of customers, getting direct information from them so we can better serve them okay if you're interested in this type of service this is where you go if you're interested in this particular option this is where you go in this where you're actually creating a personalized experience for your your prospects or your customers now here was the good thing from a technology technology standpoint you're adding personalization to your automation because this right here is automation you don't have to um, go in and manually send people. This is automation in its full works here, all right? This is automation in its full works here. And so I really wanted to come on and really demonstrate this to you because I know that I know that I know that I'm gonna get questions, especially from my clients on this new feature. And so, this is why I keep saying it's very important for you to know the platforms that you're using, keeping abreast with the updates and how you can leverage every feature inside of those different platforms so you can enhance your customer's experience.